Ketika dia baru memeluk Islam, Brian Davis atau Mustafa Davis menyangkakan muzik adalah haram. Menyedari tanggapan itu salah, dia menghasilkan Dean Tide, sebuah dokumentari yang mengupas kekangan kreativiti yang dihadapi penggiat seni mu'alaf di Amerika. Dibesarkan dalam keluarga Katolik, Mustafa memeluk Islam pada 1996 selepas membaca surah Al-Mariam. Namun minat dan cintanya kepada seni membuatkan dirinya terasing, kuatir melanggar hukum syariah. Well, when I first started the film, uh, my initial intention was just to to do uh, just a short piece, a five to ten minute piece with uh, with some of the artists that you that you see in the film, who are close friends of mine, uh, and they uh, for many years have used hip hop as a way to to share their faith uh, with the world. And uh, and I thought that was a positive thing that they were doing. They're using their art for positivity. So when I started shooting with them, as soon as I turned the camera on, I noticed that there was some trepidation in them, uh, that they weren't really sure if they should be doing it or if they shouldn't be doing it. And some of them, I thought that maybe even saying that they're using it to spread positive message about their faith, I felt personally that some of, for some of them, it was just an excuse to do it, even though they knew that certain elements of the Muslim community said that they said that they shouldn't. Mempunyai ramai kenalan dalam industri hiburan, ternyata lelaki berusia 38 tahun ini tidak keseorangan. Pertemuan dan perbincangan bersama rakan-rakan dijadikan bahan kajian untuk memahami seluk-beluk seni dalam Islam. It started out with just wanted to make a film, short, very short film with some of my friends about positivity uh, and what they were doing, and ended up being a much more in-depth uh, study on creativity and really on culture and how the American Muslim uh, is struggling to blend their culture, uh, their very postmodern Western culture, with the religion of Islam, which is a pre-modern uh, religion with very Eastern cultural undertones. And so that's really what the film is about, how they're trying to reconcile their faith with their Western culture. Musafaya Kim Pengiat Seni Mu'alaf memerlukan bantuan dan sokongan berterusan. Lebih-lebih lagi saudara baru seperti mereka yang terumbang ambing di antara pertemuan budaya barat dan Islam. You know, it's 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 very difficult for anybody to uh, be successful in a career or in any type of endeavor if they don't have support from their from their community. And I think that's kind of what's holding them back. You know, and it's something I talk about a lot too. I think in in, in arts uh, that is created by by Muslims, and I'm careful not to say Muslim art, but art that is created by people of the Muslim uh, faith. Uh, a lot of times we don't see that it's up to par with mainstream uh, art. Uh, so some of our hip-hop artists maybe aren't as good as some of the mainstream hip-hop artists. Some of our photographers aren't maybe as good. Not all of them. You know, I'm not going to make blanket statements of all of them, but definitely uh, a, as a general rule, that's the case. And I think a lot of that is due to lack of support from the community. Dilahirkan di San Francisco, Mustafa menyangkal dakwaan masyarakat Islam ditindas di Amerika. Lebih-lebih lagi selepas tragedi 11 September yang mencetuskan sentimen Islamofobia. 11 September tahun ini menandakan genap sedekat pusat dagangan dunia di New York ada serang pengganas Al-Qaeda. It depends who you who you talk to, uh, and you know I can only speak for myself. Uh, for myself. Uh, after September 11th, uh, things changed for me in the sense that I realized actually how American I really am. Uh, maybe before that I didn't, I, I was still just the same person, I was still American, but maybe I didn't think cognitively or uh, about it, you know what I mean? Uh, but after September 11th, you know, it's, it's, things aren't that different for us, you know, as Muslims in America. I think the perception of people outside of America on what's happening inside of America post-September 11th and pre-September 11th, a lot of it is misconceptions. Uh, but for the most part, uh, my life as an artist, I'm not a political analyst, you know, and I'm not interested in, 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 in politics, so I don't pay too much attention to it. Uh, I spend most of my time trying to create art. Walaupun berbeza budaya dan agama, Mustafa bersyukur melihat ketamadunan masyarakat Malaysia yang hidup aman di bawah satu bumbu. About the different uh, nationalities and different, I think it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. I think this is the year 2011 and we live in a global village. And the pluralism that I see here reminds me of what I see in America. Uh, we, we all live in this world uh, together regardless of our faith background and if we're going to succeed then we have to know we have to learn how to kind of work and live together symbiotically
Mustafa ditemui semasa jelajah mempromosikan filem dokumenterinya di Kuala Lumpur. Selama tiga hari, Mustafa berpeluang bersemuka dan bertukar pandangan dengan penggiat seni melalui majlis dialog yang dianjurkan Crescent Collective.